I forgot to do. Damn it! I, I realize I'm like I forgot. I forgot to check his clan tag and what the hell that d thing meant. TL start. Hold on, let me see if I could Google it really quick right now. So this is the best part about having like a community stream. I could do like this like little impromptu stuff. TL start. Start. Let's see if that pops up anything. No, it doesn't pop up anything. So we'll have to check after the game. <laughs> Look at the clan tag. All right. Starting over here at the top right side of the map, representing the clan TL Star, we have the red Terran player Chaos. Um, kind of got caught in a weird position last game again. Anytime you go for a little bit of a Reaper, you go for a Reaper expand, and then your opponent goes for early pull hatch, and then you get it's it's that really weird position where you get caught out of position in a sense. Your Reapers across the map while you miss the six things that come or the four links. You lose the SCV. You have no defense back at home because usually you're taking up into reactor for the uh, for the barracks into the factory, and you're building the factory. So you literally have no units back at home. So you almost have no choice but to cancel that command center. So then you go through that process of you have to build the command set. You have to cancel. You have to build it on the high ground. You have to form the orbital up on the high ground. Then you have to take the time to float it over. So you're very constricted on efficiency just based off of that playstyle, and I feel like uh, if if the Zerg is does force the cancellation, he does find himself in a pretty advantageous spot going into the uh, kind of the early mid stages of the game. Now uh, our Zerg down here at the bottom left side of Nimbus LE, we have Complexities Hendralisk. Boom boom. Actually, funny. Yesterday, I played on this map. I, I played a couple ladder games because I found out recently, for whatever reason, uh, the latency on KR server actually went away. I'm not sure why, but I could actually play with minimal, you know, lag or anything like that, which is really nice. So, decided to play a couple ladder games. Went went uh, went full Winter Starcraft. Started punishing some gold players along the path. And it was funny because I landed on this map and I did a did the three racks all in. I did this wall off right here. And then dropped the two axes behind and just pulled everything at like part ten. <laughs> Next thing I know, one minute later, I'm in, inside the base, just wiping absolutely everything in this screen player. What I can only assume in Hongo is just cursing me out. Such a fun map, man. I, I actually really like Nimbus. I like Nimbus. So, so here comes Chaos. He's scouting out, able to get inside the base now. He sees the forward hatch, and you got, you got to be very interested. Now, I saw this yesterday from Curious. I saw this from Curious yesterday when he was playing Ryung. He put a forward hatch down, and to me, when I see this forward hatch placed in, I can only imagine it being, for the most part, as an aggressive playstyle, like quick ling bane or something like that, or quick ling timing, just to all in your opponent. But I was wrong, because this third hatch, if you're able to get the creep spread out over here in the third area, you're able to saturate and pull up a defense. Remember, your third hatch is going to be really safe. Your third hatch is going to be all the way over here inside your own base, so you're going to be able to creep up, defend very easily. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things I didn't really think about up until I really saw how it worked out and played out. It's just a lot nicer when you have all, you know, all the defense. You have the crew spread out from the third base out through here. It, it allows you to control the map a little bit better, I feel like. Because you, you've seen those times where, you know, the Zerg player takes the in-base third hatch, and then there's no creep through here. He's got to walk the slow, ling, uh, slow queens down or has to work with slowlings trying to defend a, a third hatch down here that he's trying to take with Hellings and Reapers just microing back and forth. With a creep on the field right now, as we see right now, also creep team is going to spread it out. The Hellions, Reapers, or any harassment that comes right in this area is not going to have as much efficiency as you would think it would have. So, And especially with the creep there and the queens already in defensive position, it's not going to happen. Now, meanwhile, back at home, Chaos already grabbing his third command center. We take a look and see Natural's already, of course, mining away. Chaos flipping over the factory onto the reactor. Barracks dropping down with that tech lab upgrade in mind. Angel is bringing in the Overlord from the left side. Going to spot out that there's no third base currently, but uh, he will spot the third command center as he slowly inches on forward. As he slowly inches on forward, Angelisk. No? No, fine. Don't do it, then. So, lair upgrade about halfway done, Roach Warren underway. Is Hentelus just going for a big Ling Roach bailing bus potentially? Off of two base? He's got the Roach Warren actually on the low ground. This is kind of goofy to watch and see. 
This is weird. I've actually never seen this before. I've literally never seen this before. Roach Warren on the low ground. Very interesting. I get. I guess the wall off works fine. You bring a queen over here, the wall off works fine. I'm surprised he wouldn't try to like take out the just you know gnaw away at this at the plates just so he could maybe build something else here if he really needed to. But I think the wall off works pretty fine. Well, we do have the first six arches underway. We have Overlord, Speed, and also Ventral Sacks. Oh, Henry. Oh, Henry, you're going to get dirty on us today. Oh, somebody did not clean himself up today, man. We're getting dirty. Oh, what? Whoa, what the? Okay, Hen Hendralisk is going like... Hendralisk is trying to hit everything all over the place. He's dropping... He's get I thought he was going to go for Roche Drops. Roach drops and just drops units in general, and instead, well, not instead, but he's also on top of that. He's dropping down a Nidus Worm. I'm like, a, I'm, a, I'm a little bit taken back. I'm a little bit taken back because I watched Symbol yesterday, and he dropped down a lot of Nidus Worms against Protoss player, which I figured out why he did that. This though, this though, this is some next level meta right here, man. Bre breaking it, dropping Ventral Sacks, getting Overlord speed. And also the Nidus Worm. So I guess giving himself a lot of options and ways and forms that he wants to attack. We'll see how this works out. And again, he does have already the Overlord inside the main base uh, area, so he could drop that Nidus Worm. And might, he might just be waiting just for the point in time for these Lings and Roaches just to aggro and distract him down. So Supply Depot goes down. We'll use the third orbital command as a little bit of a wall off. Already we could see Chaos bringing his SCVs ahead of time to help defend against this. Nope. Hello, overlords. Nidus Worm popping up. Nidus Worm is gonna help out at this point. Well, this is pretty cool because he lives inside the main base. He's gonna he's by the roach by having to fight these roaches. It's gonna give the Nidus Worm time to pop up. Dropping down an overseer as well. Let's try to see if we can catch some of the action below that's going on over here. And yeah, now reinforcements are coming through. Queen's killing everything off. He, is, of course, does have uh, an Overseer, as you see to the right, so he's going to be able to see these Widow Mines. The Widow Mines, though, are already discharged. Our Terran player, Chaos, dropping in supply, and GG is called. Manor Mules, BM, everything that's happening, GG. <laughs> that's game number two. Oh, that was fun.